Welcome to Chris BI. Today we're talking about monitoring hub, what works, what doesn't work, what we'd like to see in the service. Bah. If you're not familiar with monitoring hub, it allows you to go in and just check on the status of all your reports, pipelines, all that stuff. If it succeeded, if it's failed, all the good stuff, right? Now, monitoring hub is one of the items that is on our task bar. It's right here. It says monitoring. You click on it and you can see the status of everything that you've, all of your processes. Now, I have already filtered down to just the failed processes because frankly, I expect everything to run successfully. I don't care about things that are successful. They should, right? Like, uh, but I do care about the failed. So I, I have it already filtered to failed and it just stays that way. So every time I come back in, I can see what's failed to load and what hasn't. Uh, it's uh, May 17th and I can see that I had a, a handful of failures this morning. Don't know why. Um, actually, I can actually find out why. So I can actually say view details. It failed, understand what happened, why it occurred, like, okay, what capacity is on, uh, basic information. When I click on it, it's gonna take me into a new screen that is the, um, uh, that is the, 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 the activity itself. So this is the, the, uh, the flow, the lake house that failed and the refresh. So I'm inside of that. Now, this is the workspace that's in. If I go into my data flows, I can scroll down and I could see that I've got a failure in here. I click on uh, the ellipses, I go to settings and I could see that everything looks like it should be fine. So like, why the heck did it fail? I can go back into the workspace. I can just go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna hit refresh on it. Cause frankly, both of these should have worked. There's no reason that they shouldn't have worked. Um, cause I had lots of other things that did work. So what the heck, man, why, why, why are you tripping? All right. So that's running, but I can go back to the monitoring hub and then I could track the status of the other items that I have. You know, maybe I even want to do like, you know, maybe I want to, uh, shift my filter to be failed and in progress. So I can actually keep an eye on the things that are running and making sure that they, to actually finish completely. Now, if I went down, I'd actually see that there are other issues that I could work through as to what caused the failure. But one of the challenges I would love to see added to this is look at all the steps I had to take in order to get to where the issue was and resolve it. I would so much rather be able to click on this ellipses and have that data flow or model or pipeline or whatever it is the settings be right here where I could go ahead and uh, just go right into those to check it. Or I'd like to click on refresh from here. Why, why make me go through all, all of those additional steps in order to refresh this data? If I'm here, I see it's failed. I should be able to go in and see, you know, connections, all that stuff. I should be able to go right to the settings and I should be able to trigger the refresh from here. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Like, like this MVP release is nice because it allows me to see all of the refreshes from all of the workspaces that I'm in. That is really good. In fact, I can even go in and, and change and add in different things that I, I, I might want to see about this. Now, an interesting thing is I'm not seeing the, the workspace that's in, that would be another item that's just missing from, um, missing from this feature. So hopefully, we're going to see this upgraded and these features can be added soon. Uh, generally speaking, I'd say click on uh, your little question mark here. Let me switch over. Click on, click on the question mark here. Go to submit an idea. This will take us out to the idea site. And I can tell you, I've searched through all of these. I'm not seeing anything on metrics hub to improve it. So uh, maybe I'll create one and I'll share a link to you, but Hey, if you're on the Microsoft team and you're looking at how can we improve things? Uh, I mean, we're talking about adding in a link to the settings item here or, and a link for a refresh. This is not some horribly complex thing. Like the, I guarantee you there's someone who's like, Hey, maybe I'm not, I'm not hungry today. At, I'm, I don't know if I need to take a lunch. Maybe you just sit down and you just put this in. All right, please. Um, I'll buy you lunch the next time we see it. Let me know if you do that. I'm happy to buy you lunch, right? Like 
it's all good. I'll buy you lunch and we'll, we'll, we'll make you whole. All right. I'm not asking for something for nothing here. Uh, but this is just a great feature that would be so easy to add into the service to make these things better. Um, I would love to see this added in. All right. So if you're new to the channel, you found this useful or any of that, you know, we got to do the YouTube thing, right? Uh, so please make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below if you're using Monitoring Hub uh, or any other ideas that you might have. That would be fantastic. Uh, you have a fantastic day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.